Good morning, Maya they are back. Here's the plan. We're getting plastered. Unfortunately, no, that doesn't involve any alcohol at this point. It is, after all, eight o'clock in the morning. We're getting the house walls plastered. Hopefully they enjoy it. We have reminded the engineer this morning to please make sure that anywhere where there are any pipes embedded in the walls, even small ones, to put the chicken wire, chicken mesh, over those areas to hopefully reduce the risk of any of the plaster cracking further on down the line if we get any kind of earth movement. The swimming pool crew are mixing up concrete. I assume that means more waterproofing going on. The Aisha team, the wall around the corner team, will be working towards their target of now three to four days, I guess, two to three days, it depends. I assume they were including yesterday. No, I asked them at the end of yesterday. So it's three to four days starting today to finish that perimeter wall. The aircon guys should be back in. And we got a magnificent response to my request yesterday for comments and likes. Thank you, 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 thank you. I'm gonna go through all of the comments that I received and I'll leave that until later in the day because as it's so early so far it really is only given I guess predominantly the US watchers a chance to comment so I'll leave it a little while and then I'm gonna go on camera and reply to every single one if that doesn't make you put a dislike in I've no idea what will oh by the way we do get generally speaking one dislike every kind of other day which is absolutely fine and I'm amazed there aren't more would you consider if you're gonna put a dislike in go for it I don't blame you tell me why so I can see if there's anything I can do about it if it's because I'm an annoying git I can't really help that if it's because I don't have the knowledge of the building process I definitely can't help that would you think about if you stick a dislike in tell me what it is you don't like anyway that was far too long here we go what could possibly go wrong the Aisha team are continuing to work along the neighbor's wall and it hasn't fallen down yet remarkable they are over on the far side on the south side taking down i think the forms for the concreted in tie beam so getting very very close is it day 125 day 126 day 127 or could it still be day 128 we shall see while we are here the tomatoes you can buy in the supermarkets here are rubbish and i was wondering whether tomatoes would grow here or whether it's too hot the answer it would appear is yes i don't think these were necessarily planted someone's just dropped some seeds could be a bird could have been a person who just threw away some rotten old tomatoes but it looks like they do grow which is great because that's what i want to do as far as i can tell nothing much was done on this last night but the shed end is now being used as a shed it is functional at the swimming pool the boysen waterproofing material is getting coated on which means it'll be shortly followed by another layer of the uh, sahara compound mixed in with plaster so they are trying to make sure that this part is fully waterproofed. More scaffolding going up. Ariel's up there. I just told him I'm not talking to him. He makes me laugh too much. There is an outstanding question in the comments about the cost of scaffolding. Uh, I think from one of the subscribers, and I will put the name up on the uh, text, who is looking to do some build themselves at some point so I will I'm still waiting for some feedback on that 
This scaffolding is owned by the builder, uh, so I'll try and find some cost to buy. I imagine those numbers probably can be found online, but I'll try and see if I can get his answer. Given that this is the day on which we get plastered, these guys are going to be busy. I imagine they'll be mixing up plaster all day long. They certainly appear to have, just behind there, plenty of material to do it with. Sorry, with which to do it. We are in the master walk-in closet and bathroom. They have been going for less than an hour. And they have got a load of this wall already plastered. Now, the foreman has said that where we have outlets and pipes, the PVC pipes with the outlets embedded, that will not require the chicken wire. So I am going to bow to his better knowledge than mine. I have said to the engineer, in three years time, if we get cracks where the outlets are, I shall remind them. But they've done this before, I haven't. So, plastering. JR saying good morning. Load of guys up here. I'll put your shirt down. <laughs> good start to the day. Good morning, sir. My name is Papa Jesse Bamba. <laughs> Mr. Jesse Bamba is carrying on with shipping out. Okay, I know I have no idea what that was, but Mr. Jesse is a talker. And Richard, one of the Richards, is in here preparing one of the very last Thai beans upstairs. So, my guess is this will probably get formed and concreted in today. Another first. Roofing. I am going to have to have a word with the foreman about helmets. But we have roofing welding guys in today i didn't know that was coming i think it's charles hill in the comments has been asking about when would the roofing start today's the day charles and this door into the bedroom at the front of the house on the north side is getting welded in first one the aircon crew from east summertech are here morning guys work underway on more conduit going in uh, drainage pipes for the air conditioning units and mad manny continuing to drive the diggerator over next to nothing to dump backfill into this platform area that's going to take quite a bit of dirt
we go. Your comments. 42 so far. That is magnificent. That is roughly 5% of all viewers have made a comment, which is uh, huge. And almost 15% of you so far have liked. One disliked. That happens. I said it earlier. That's fine. Anyway, this could take a while, so I'm going to skip through quite a lot of these very fast. First up, P. Kruger said, yesterday was New Year's. It was. Year of the Tiger in the Chinese calendar. P. Kruger, correct, and thank you for getting in first. Good job. Freno Pino Philippine Adventure said, hanging in for day 131 on the wall build competition. Freno Pino, you're still in the game. Mega Wega says, my name is Will, lived in Angeles City for 10 years. No, yes, Philippines for 13 years, Angeles for 10. Mega Wega, we gotta catch up for a coffee sometime. JM Farrell, great progress, even with a brown out, he says. I like the shirt and fun with the work crew. JM, thank you very much, they are a fun group. Stephen Johnsrud said, in construction time, estimating, take the expected time and multiply it by five to three times. Stephen, with this crew, so far, we reduce their expected finish dates and they hit the reduced dates. That may be unusual, it may not. This is my only experience here so far. But, wow, they're moving. Ewan says, Tell the fence wall crew to hang on until day 132. No reason. No, Ewan, no reason at all, except that was the day that you chose in the competition. You are still in the game. I'm not gonna ask him to wait, sorry. Clint says, how much is that wall? It's massive. Clint, I think it's very roughly 635 meters long and we have asked for it to be a minimum of 2.5 meters high. Uh, that is looking at it from the outside of the property. So some areas of the wall don't, well, they're not 2.5 meters high when you stand on our side, but that doesn't matter. We're not stopping people getting out. We want to stop people getting in. Roger Moore says, I shouldn't say this. I've liked every vlog and I think, uh, his lady is in Tampo. I'm not sure where Tampo is. He says, my father used to say to me as a boy to kill a tree, put copper nails into the roots to poison it. Roger, I looked it up. Your father was absolutely 100% right. You might need more than one copper nail apparently to kill bigger trees, but they do work. So your father's story is correct. My goldfish having 30 seconds memory story, I looked it up afterwards. Absolute nonsense. Mr. Clean Celine says, great content. Thank you, sir. Darren Wally says, everything looking great. Kind of disagree with your engineer saying lintels are not needed. And also, are your pull guys putting in a hydrostatic valve to prevent it lifting? A couple of people have mentioned hydrostatic valves. I have sent an email to the builder this morning saying, are we doing that? I hope so, because it does look like that is a very good idea, so thank you. I had not heard of them until you mentioned it, and one other person mentioned it, and I went and looked it up. Kevin Clare said, I'm still here, and giving a like to all your vlogs. Sorry, no comment lately, been sidetracked, but I'm back. Just curious, what do you do for a living? And he says he was in payroll for 30 years. And am I a fan of Monty Python? What I did for a living was I worked for a UK company. I only ever worked for one company my whole working life. How foolish is that? Uh, I will go into that a little bit more on another day if that's okay. Was I a fan of Monty Python? Yes and no. Love, love, love the movies. Life of Brian, one of my all time favorites and the Holy Grail is well up there. The TV shows, bit hit and miss for me. Wasn't a fan of the animated stuff. Quite a few sketches like in any comedy show didn't really hit it for me. But the movies are awesome. Jerry Sweden says, here is my contribution with a comment. Cheers, Jerry. From Sweden, thank you very much. 64 Dasani, who I should mention almost 
every video is the first person to comment every almost every single day um, and says I'll watch this evening so by now I guess you might have watched it Farrier29 says I might been watching your videos for a couple of weeks and have enjoyed them immensely it would be great to find out some of the costing for the build uh, I've been working in Oman he says as a farrier in the royal stables for the past 20 years and plan to build a place in the Philippines with my new partner I don't think I can stretch the size of your build, but I would appreciate your details about the construction. All the best, Dave. Dave, um, we decided we're not gonna put costings into these videos, but if you go to the about section in the channel, my email address is there, send me an email and I'll tell you what I can. And then he said, oh, and forgot to ask, where are you from in the UK as you must be from the South? I'm from Canterbury, which is very South. Uh, originally actually from the Midlands, from Northampton, but moved to the south coast uh, when I was 14. Uh, had a bit of a Midlands accent at the time, and when you're 14 and you want to fit in, your accent changes very fast. So, the family lives in and around Eastbourne in Sussex. So, not at all far from Canterbury, I have been there several times. Brian Adamson says, doors and windows. Most builds seem to gloss over these. A good description of the materials and where you source them, please. Brian, I will get into that. Uh, the builder is sourcing everything. I have nothing to do with it, um, but it's a great question and I will try and get some information on that for you. Nelia Whitaker, sometimes patience needed. Just be patient. Your reward is coming by your hard work. Keep up the great job. Nelia, thank you you've been commenting a lot recently and it is very much appreciated you're always very kind Charles Hill don't count me out yet he's talking about the wall build competition and he's his number was 150 he says but yeah not looking good for me now oh well just maybe on the roof so maybe we're gonna have to do a roof build competition Keith Ad says, and I think this first time comment, some of these are. Uh, I had to do a couple of days of binge watching to get caught up on your build, enjoying your videos. Thank you, Keith. Fran, oh, I'm gonna say this wrong and I apologize. Francissimo, is it Francissimo or Francissimo? Says, hello, sir. Guys, don't call me sir, I don't deserve it, just Mike. Just a little comment in regards with chipping concrete beams. It would have been so much easier if they did the chipping right after removing the forms. I think you're probably right. Then I don't know if there's any downsides to doing that. I think from memory, any builds I've seen here, they do tend to leave the chipping until a bit later. Not sure why. Anton Hemming says, day 130 for that back wall, Anton. I think you're a bit late to the game. Sorry, we closed the competition quite a long time ago, um, but I think you, you would still be in with a chance with that number. And Nathan Johnson. Hey Mike, people love shiny paint, no block building, <laughs> loving it. <laughs> Nathan, I'm gonna try and avoid shiny paint. Scott says, LOL, looks like an Amazon distribution center going in. Scott, that's a brilliant idea. I imagine they pay quite well. We are going to have to think about this. Butch McPherson says, for the algorithm. Thanks Butch. Appreciate it. JB says, I've already told you my life story. Ancient Antipodean, married two kids, going to build a house around mid-year, nothing much else of interest. JB, I imagine there is a lot more else of interest. Uh, depending on where you are, maybe we can grab a coffee or even a alcoholic libation at some point. And you can tell me about the nothing of interest part. I don't believe you. Raphael Samuel Mirage. And Raphael, I hope I said that one right. A great vlog today, despite all the setbacks, re brown out. House will be a great site to behold on completion. Raphael, thank you very much. I, I really hope so. Manuel R. I might can't wait to see how they lay down the tire work. I noticed from most vids out there, they don't use the trowel and they apply too much bond mixture on the floor. Manuel, I've seen that. They do appear to apply a lot. Uh, I have seen, in fact, there's a, an episode, if you want to search around, there's an episode on Casa Texpina, which is always my kind of go-to channel for any house building information here in the Philippines. Um, there's an episode in there where I think George talks about that um, with a degree of knowledge that I can't possibly man manage to come close to. 
And I think he might, from memory, have explained why they do it. Um, I, I can't comment, honestly. It's uh, beyond, as always, my knowledge. Payman Jaderi sent me a lot of emojis. Thank you. Steve L says, my grandma was a beauty queen in Swindon in 1933. That's where I get my good looks from. I have no doubt, Steve. I'm sure you're a beautiful man. Joe Frugate. Here's a comment. Brilliant, Joe. Adrian Free says, why is the sky blue? Well, Adrian, it's to do with the scattering of light waves. Blue is the shortest light wave that is visible to the human eye. And it is at a length that tends to bounce off of the gas molecules in the atmosphere. Other colors tend to pass straight through. They have longer wavelengths. What comes through, we see as blue, even though it does contain all of the other colors, but they've still tended to stay together to be a white color. Did you really want to know? I'm sure you did not know. That was entirely ironic, wasn't it? But that's what happens. And tomorrow I'll explain why at night sometimes the sky is red. You asked. Ab Cooper says, I will be building a home in the Philippines in a couple of years. I like the look of the old house that I have seen in the background and you speaking from sitting on the porch. Can you do a tour or show a floor pan of it? Ab, if I showed you inside, my wife would have my guts for whatever because uh, she'd say, oh, it's messy. Uh, it isn't. But uh, I, what I will do is sometime shortly, I'll give a quick overview of this house. Honestly, it was done on the cheap and it shows, um, but we just needed to get something built quickly a few years ago for family reasons. Love this name. Boar Hunter Klaus says, in Germany, a compost needs water to work. Why on the Phillies is there a roof over it? Well, Klaus, here in the Philippines, uh, physics and biology work differently. No, they don't. Of course it leaves water, you are 100% right. But one of the things that I've read about compost, and you might be able to correct me, is too much water is also a problem. So the plan here is to try to manage that water intake. Uh, compost needs air and water to make it work properly. And so we will try and keep it wet, but we don't want it to get flooded out when we get to rainy season. So that's why there's a roof. Sun Jack says, day 126 for the house, sorry, for the perimeter wall build. Never in doubt, he says. Uh, Jack, no, we'll see. Graham Cebu, Philippines. Graham has commented on virtually every episode we've ever done, and he's done so from a position of knowledge and he is one of the people that I'm most grateful to. Says, Good morning, Mike. Never thought just to burn that stump. That's Filipino technology working at its best. Bobcat ramp. Nice one. Uh, hollow blocks in the house. Progressing well. All round a good day despite the power cut. Um, on my build, he's building a house in Cebu. Hence, Graham's Cebu, Philippines. Uh, they overchipped and almost damaged the columns. What I prefer is to use a bonding brush on coating. Before anybody asks, yes, you can get it from Ace Hardware or Wilcom, which are two stores here in the Philippines. Um, or can just use diluted PVA adhesive. Works by stopping the, shrink the shrinkage movement, applying direct to dry concrete. Using a good bonding coating, you'll never need to look at plaster shrinkage cracks. He says, some more tips of the day by Graham Cebu, Philippines. And he also mentioned the hydrostatic pump for the pool. There is some good stuff in there. Uh, the PVA I've not heard of. I'm going to ask about it, Graham. Thank you very much again. Jay's PH Journey says, I watched the video and wow, the house and the pool are coming together. I'm so ready for me and my girlfriend building our house in the Philippines as well. Jay, good luck with it, buddy. Rob Hodgson says, loving it jealous can't wait to see the finished article uh, my wife's from imus cavite rob are you going to be moving here do you live here already let me know paul gannon says uh, paul's a friend from hong kong known him forever says right i'm coming over to push down a section of the neighbor's wall and your shed is much better than the old stanford bridge 
For non-English footballing fans, Stamford Bridge is the home ground of Chelsea Football Club. They used to have a section in there called The Shed End. Rona, Rona Bailey Kroll. Is it Rona, did I say that right? What's your favorite karaoke song to sing? There are none. Rona, if you ever heard me trying to sing, you would probably agree with me that there is only one person in the world who is worse at singing than me. You wouldn't have met him. It happens to be my youngest brother. The two of us are appalling, which is odd because our parents both had really nice singing voices. So I never do karaoke unless I'm really, really drunk. Wally. Wally Trink says, love your door frames. Is it possible to show how they are fixed alongside the hollow block wall entry? As always, another big like. Uh, Wally, I will try and get some footage of that for you. Maze 9323, pool looking great. I honestly wondered if they'd ever get all of that water out to even start. Looks like a never, or looked like a never ending task. Maze, it, it, it did. If, you, if, if any of you had not seen some of the earlier episodes, well, then go back and watch. But if you haven't, they, we have quite a high water table here and it did take a lot of effort to clear the water out before they could build the pool. Michael Masnar is another, uh, somebody who clearly has a building background uh, and has been helping out a lot recently with comments. Hi from the Northern Philippines, looking good. Uh, as for your fences, are you plastering it and is there anything going on the top beam? Uh, for example, barbed wire, sharpened steel panels, etc. Um, well, are we plastering, Michael? No, too much money. Uh, couldn't afford it. Are we going to put something on top? Yes. Uh, and at this point, I think most likely barbed wire. Steve Hutton says, <laughs> ABC, ABC, ABC. I like this show, yes. Thank you very much, Steve. And the most recent one, Fiondo. I hope I said that right, Fiondo. Great progress, I really enjoy watching the build every single day that you post, keep it up. Fiondo, that's very kind, thank you very much. And guys, we are done, that's a very long section. Um, I will have to come back another time for anybody that has posted after this point. Um, and obviously there will be bits that I have to come back and uh, readdress later on. Thank you so much once again for all the comments and all the likes, utterly magnificent. 4.30, the bell's gone. The comment section seemed like a good idea at the time, but it is ridiculously long. If you've made it this far without skipping, well done. Thank you very much, and I'm sorry. I couldn't do a mid part of the day edition. It would have been crazy. So here we are at the wall around the corner. There are only four sections left to do. Uh, they have the columns in for those four sections. They have the base tie beams in and concreted. So, four sections of wall, and then six sections of tie beam and tops of columns. That's all there is left. The swimming pool inside the seating area is 50% smoothed out, 50% not. So I guess that's the last layer of plaster on the walls inside. And beyond it, the backfill is done. I don't know, I didn't see any compacting going on. I don't know how significant that is here. It may not be, but a lot of progress on the pool. I think we are close to starting on waterproofing the floor. Scaffolding now along a lot of the west wall and it is right up to height on the south wall. So a lot of focus was on that today. In the master walk-in closet and bathroom. This is what we saw earlier, but only just started. They have now done all of this walk-in closet. They have done most of that wall and all of this and all of this. Oh no, most of this, just the outside west wall to go. In the center bedroom at the back of the house, this was one of the very few tie beams left that had not been well, it didn't have a full tie beam and it wasn't concreted in. It is now. We now have three door frames kind of in place. I'm not sure in this case whether that's final. I think it is. In the other two, no, one is not final and one looks like it is over here. 
that's been plastered in. There we go, the end of day 133. And again, my apologies for this being monstrously long. I blame you lot, you did what I asked. And then I made the foolish mistake of talking about it for hours on end. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the comments. Let's keep this short. See you tomorrow.